Finally, we have a built-in timer in Zoom. Among the new Zoom apps, it's probably one of the simplest ones, but one I'm sure we'll be using very often. Welcome to the Zoom apps must-have series. You don't know what Zoom apps are? No problem. Check out the video up here where you will learn all the basics on how to install them and how and when to use them. So what does the new Zoom app timer do? It's just a timer that you can set up to 99 minutes. And as I live in Switzerland, Luckily, they've allowed us to make it very precise to the second. Besides defining minutes and seconds, the timer is very basic, as it doesn't allow for any customization. By the way, if you're looking for a timer that you can customize with your colors, graphics and branding, check the link at the end of this video or in the description. And if you don't want to do it yourself, you can download my templates for free. Shh. You can use the app two ways. First one is if you want to share the time with the audience. For example, for an exercise or for a coffee break or when they log into the meeting to let them know when the meeting will start. The second way of using a timer is just for yourself. For example, if you want to have control over how much time you have left for your session or how long other speakers' sessions are taking. Let's go install it and see how it works. As a first thing, make sure you have the latest Zoom version installed, or at least version 5.7.3, which is the one where apps have been released. You can install the app from the desktop client or from within a meeting. I'll use the first option and click on the apps icon at the top right. Then go to the Discover tab and search for Timer. Click on Add, review the data that you're going to share with the app, and if you're okay with it, click on Authorize and the installation is done. Let's now open a new meeting. Click on the Apps icon at the bottom right and in the My Apps list, you'll find the Timer app that we've just installed. Let's now open the app. As you see, the interface is very simple. By clicking on the speaker icon, you can choose to play a sound at the end of the timer. The app offers six preset durations, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and 30 minutes. However, you can define whatever time you need up to 99 minutes by just typing the value in the box or using the up and down arrows. The reset button will reset it to zero and the start button will make it start. I can use the timer just for myself or I can share it with the audience. I will now connect with another account where I don't have Zoom apps installed yet. If you want to share the timer with the audience, just click on share you will have the option to share all computer audio or no audio. And if you choose no audio, then no sound will play at the end of the timer. The audience will now see the timer in share screen mode. And they will also see it if you have not started it yet. So if you're planning an exercise or are about to launch a coffee break, you can share the timer before starting it and then start it after you've explained what's going to happen. Let me now connect from mobile, where I'm using the latest Zoom version. However, at the moment apps are not working on mobile. So if I send the app, nothing will happen on mobile. If instead I share the app, the timer will be seen on screen on mobile. 